Any, any aerial view has always been intriguing, for whether it be you know, movies, the most huge, big, sweeping shots that you can't get with anything else. My name's Frank Scottraferro, and I'm a drone operator. Because of the, the technology was just so advanced and it became such a consumer product, you don't have to be, you know, a professional robotics person to be able to do these. Any, any of that intrigue that anybody had, my, myself included, you know, that, that wants those big cool shots but never could get them, now it's, you know, <laughs> no pun intended, but legitimately at your fingertips. DJI goggles came out, I don't know, maybe like a year and a half ago. They are like, probably one of the coolest things I've ever put on, like, you're legitimately flying. They're over your head, and it's, I mean, it's a screen probably about the size of, like, iPhone 10. It, it's, it's an immersive experience. Like, you get lost in there. With those goggles, if you tilt your head up, the camera will tilt up. If you tilt your head down, the camera will tilt down, and the same thing left and right. If you see something, you look over there, the drone's gonna look over there. You're not thinking about how your hands are flying it, so now you're not thinking about what you want to look for. You're just looking at it, and it's looking there which is absolutely insane. I actually crashed three times. My friend Dan brought me to like some, it was like an old like military base kind of thing, like right on the shore. But I was flying low and I wanted to kind of get this shot as if I was a, like a bee. You know, like moving around real quickly in this stuff and like flying around, which was cool for a while. I was doing, I was doing these big like bank moves and like flying through there and blah, blah, blah. And then, and then the one time I got, I got a little too low, hitting all of them. And then one of them just wrapped around the propeller and it just goes Phew! And then you just, it kind of like settles for a minute, it stops and then it just went off. The Phantom 3 was built very well and pretty, pretty indestructible. So it was fine. I have a shot that I always like to do if, I, if I'm going out and shooting a certain subject or a certain area, I like to do a big reveal. Jersey City, there's a um, huge uh, David Bowie mural and I started like right on, right on his eyes. So his eyes are like super close and like you really wouldn't have any idea what it is. And then there's just a slow pull out. You realize it's on the side of a huge building and like you can kind of see Hoboken in the background. So I, that, that one I really liked. And just getting to like all those places that you would obviously never be able to get to unless you had a helicopter, you had an airplane, you know buy a drone, go up in the air, and you can pretty much get broadcast quality shots. 